Hello dear students. Today we are going to start the third chapter of history that is American Civil War. First of all we should know children what is a civil war. A civil war is a war between groups of people who live in the same country. Children this is also a new topic for you all. If you remember in the previous chapter also we have learnt about America that is the American Revolution or the American War of Independence. The time period from 1775 to 1783. There we have learnt how on 4th July 1776 the representatives of 13 colonies of America declared their independence from Britain and the United States of America was formed. In this chapter, we will learn that after the United States of America gained its independence, America was divided into two parts, that is Northern and the Southern states. These states had different kinds of economies. In the 19th century, the northern states of America developed manufacturing and shipping centers while the southern states developed great plantation industries. Southern states needed slaves who served as cheap laborers for their labor intensive plantations. While the northern states needed wage earning workers for their factory. They did not require cheap labor like the southern states. Due to this reason, slavery was practically abolished from their states. They also wanted slavery to be banned in the southern states as well. Now we will focus on the main causes of American Civil War. One of the major factors that brought about conflict between them was Northern states wanted to improve transport and communication system in America. But Southern states were totally against this idea because according to them such changes could have adversely affected the soil's fertility which would have retarded the growth of their plantation industry. The second reason for the conflict was the question of tariff. The word tariff means tax. Northern states were in favor of imposition of tariff as it could boost their industries by making foreign goods more expensive. Southern states were against the idea of imposition of protective tax on foreign goods. The next cause was the newly established western states of Texas, Mexico, California, etc. were to be included in the United States of America. The question arose whether these new states would be free state or slave owning states. The conflict arose over this issue between the northern and the southern states. The question of states rights and amount of freedom to be given to the individual states was another important issue. The northern states wanted the United States to remain one nation while southern states wanted to secede from the union. The word secession means the withdrawal of the state from a union. On the whole, we can say that slavery was one of the major issues that led to the civil war in America. That's all for today, children. Thank you.